everything okay? You're a great study partner, Kyle. How'd you do that? <laughs> I dabble in ventriloquism. Lazarus is coming. She'll be here any second. And she's packing up knives with their names on them. Like, full names. Big knives. Lazarus is coming. Here. Now. What? Well, this has been a great study session. Uh, we're done? Yeah. We got this, partner. Watch out, Alexander Graham Bell. <laughs> AGB. <laughs> okay, bye. Yeah. I'll see you at school. Bye. Mr. and Mrs. Petrelli, closing up early. Rapido, rapido. Andale, take all the sugar. Andale, vamos, rapido, have a nice day. Rapido, andale. Ciao. Prepare for battle. Girls, it's game time. Welcome to Cafe Adams. Can I help you? I'm Carson Lazarus, your new chef. Our new what now? Chef. I spoke to Sophia Adams yesterday. That's my abuela. I'm Adri. So you are a new employee? That's right. I start today. You're 10 minutes early. Points for punctuality. Oh, look, your sugar's empty. Let me refill it for you. She's good. This may not be a good sign for their marriage. Adrian and Lazarus have been in the kitchen for a long time. Should we go in there? Not yet. Let's give them one more minute. I love this thing. <laughs> so, good news, bad news. Bad news is my new employee is a super criminal. Good news, she has incredible knife skills. Wait, maybe that's bad news too. Hello, my little Maywood Glenians. Have you rounded up my hackers yet? For your sake, I hope the answer is yes. Otherwise, things are going to get dark. Very dark. I want my friends brought to the old abandoned warehouse off of Roscoe Boulevard next to the train tracks. And remember, no authorities. You have two hours. Tick tock. Finally, a retro broadcast that happens when I'm around people. Now all you doubters can see, I'm not retro. I'm simply Carson Lazarus, former evil genius, now humble pastry chef. I thought Carson was a man. <laughs> It can be a woman's name. Mm. Looks like Lazarus isn't retro after all. Not necessarily. It could have been a pre-recorded broadcast to give her cover. I was monitoring retro's broadcast, Em. It was a live feed! Addison's right. He was streaming in real time, which means retro's still out there. And he really wants those hackers. Guys, the mayor just released a statement saying that he won't negotiate with criminals. Which means the hackers won't be delivered. So what are we going to do? I have a plan. You sure these voice altering devices are gonna work? Please, you're talking to a pro. Based on their previous interviews, I was able to write code for each of the hackers' voices. Now, their tone and inflection are matched in our speech. Check it out. The man's notorious. A hacker by trade. I crack codes and make you feel play. The name's Notorious, a hacker by trade. I crack codes and make you feel played. Increíble. Oh, well, Jesus, you are not gonna believe this. Remember when I said I'd find a way to thank you for hiring me this summer? And I said it wasn't necessary. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. I found a way. Olivia James is coming to Cafe Adams. Eso es imposible. I remember you telling me how Olivia James is a culinary genius and how she brought nutritional foods into classrooms across the country. Well, she's coming to Space Inc. to develop a sustainable menu for Mars exploration, and she's looking for outside contributions to her menu. I can't believe this. This is a dream come true. Wait, wait, it gets better. 
I used my social media followers to convince her that when in Maywood Glen, the place to go was Cafe Adams. <laughs> she posted about it and made a point that she's gonna be here Friday night. <laughs> if I can prepare something sustainable, healthy, and delicioso, maybe she will include it in her Mars menu. Okay, stay calm. Bryden, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. I can use all of my culinary chemistry skills to show they have a place in science and space. Promise me he will help me make something perfecto. Promise me, chica! I will, I promise. Pinky swears. Okay, too tight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't get it. Professor Cato's a big deal scientist and he lives in a trailer? Looks like someone left in a hurry. Really? Kinda looks like my room. So what, Kato fails to steal the biomed prototype and decides to get out of town before someone catches on to him? Could be. Check for anything suspicious. I'll dust for prints. By the way, love the new bag. Digging the purple. One of the perks of being the owl. Okay, these are creepy. Never understood the obsession with clown paintings. <laughs> Looks like the professor was moving into mixed media. Check out the treasure chest. Of course, it's locked. Bingo. Flash drive. Coconut foam soup. What was I thinking? Siracha pearls made from cold oil certification? Que idea tan loca! Sorry, I know I'm late. What took you so long? My meditation class introduced some yoga and I got stuck in the cow face eagle arms. It's, it's a long story. Then trying to find everything on your ingredients list was, let's just say, a challenge. So, which Adrian Adams culinary masterpiece is gonna wow Olivia James and change the face of space cuisine forever? I've got nothing, nada. We've got to start over. Okay, okay. I've been researching. There are muchas cosas things to consider for the perfect menu item. Space diets can't have too much sodium. The decrease in red blood cells creates unhealthy levels of iron durante el viaje espacial profundo. Vanish to English app during deep space travel. Got it. Astronauts need extra calcium in a weightless environment. And there are too many freeze dried options. Pero no hay alimentos frescos suficientes. Not enough fresh foods. Hey, can we just stick to one language, please? This is what I do when I'm stressed. Okay. I need to create something that is not only delicious, but nutritious. And if it could be stored safely for the long journey into space, that would be. La cereza del pastel. Icing on the cake. Wait, that's it. What about the perfect dessert? You may be onto something. We will make something that's never been tried before. Like a souffle. These sites list souffles as a top five choice for foodies across all ages. And with a few modifications, it could be high in protein, low in fat, healthy breakfast. Olivia James, prepare to be dazzled. Here's what I need. We will start creating before Cafe Adams opens. 5 a.m. sharp, okay? Okay. Of course we will. <sighs> Calming breaths, bandwidth. <sighs> How much longer, Addison? I've tapped into Spacing's database. Should have the backdated security footage from Dr. Crawford's office soon. <laughs> Sorry, Em. You usually put my hard drive to sleep by now. I just need to confirm Dr. Crawford's story about her conversation with Professor Cato. It could shed some light on where he's hiding. 
Hey, stranger. I'm just saying goodnight. I'm in. Sending it to the monitor. You see the danger? We have to destroy the prototype now! We've spent the last ten years making great progress, James. We can't just throw it all away. I trust you to find a way to safeguard it. Fine. If you won't do anything about it, I will. So he did tell Dr. Crawford. Where is this guy, Addison? And what's his next move? Addison. I'm up! I'm up! Isn't this refreshing? Nobody sneaking glances down to their screens. Everybody ready to learn? Uh. Now, you will have to write down your answers to today's quiz on a piece of paper with a pencil. The yellow wooden thingy with the rubber doodad on the end? Yes, Justin. The yellow wooden thingy with the rubber doodad on the end. Kyle. Look, I'm really sorry about before. I just have some things on my mind. It's fine. No big deal. You ever hear the one about the geometry class that was always tired? They were out of shape. <laughs> she could shape and geometry. <sighs> Commence bugging. Where's that coming from? Class, I think we have a visitor. It's my portable long range acoustic device. I modified the extra ultrasound sensors for my dad's remote control model rocket. Over here? It's for Helix the cat's birthday. Gotcha. You made your sister's cat a birthday present? And if you spoil the surprise for him, I'll be way <clears throat> Uh, you know, I think it's coming from over there. Hmm? Uh, nope, it's definitely coming from over there. Everyone just focus on your work. Let's see what you're hiding in your man purse, Gruber. Uh, gotcha! With Tuna with the crust cut off. Happy teaching. Love, Mom. <laughs> My hand's curving up! Screen. We're back on the grid. Greetings, Baywood Glenians. How you suffer without your precious technology. No texts, no phone calls, no games. Well, cry me a river. 